Hi, it's Susan Short with FB TV, and we are here today in the downtown Warehouse Arts District at the MGA Studios. It really is quite amazing. Let's go inside and take a look. We are here today with Mark Ayling at his fabulous studio, MGA Studios. How are you doing today, Mark? I'm doing great, thank you very much. Thank you for talking to us. And we're standing in front of this incredible sculpture, Cremorifis. I understand that this is actually a mold of your wife's lips. Yes, yes yeah. it is. And we're, um, we're in Softwater Studios, which is the gallery space associated with, with MGA Sculpture Studio. Okay. And um, this is a, a piece, it's a third casting out of a mold from the Lip Series, which is a, a large pair of lips um, inspired by, by my wife. And uh, this particular piece great has, lips. has over 10,000 colored pencils. Really? Yes, and it wow. took over a year's labor to, to make. Wow. And uh, it's one of those pieces that's very sensual, and when I'm near it, I, I feel obligated to, to touch it. It makes you want to touch <laughs> it. <laughs> it really does. It's wonderful. So tell us about the color gradation. So um, what I did with this piece, it's all about pixelation. So we've got all, all of these pencil ends, and they function like pixels, except they're hyper-realized because they drop back in space and they become oval. So you get more color the, the more elongated they get. Oh. And I, I did a progression of of color that follows the spe spectrum uh -huh. from purples to reds to oranges to yellows, green, and then blue towards the outer perimeter. And the thing that makes it very dynamic is that I, I chose to put the yellow right on this transition between the inside and the outside. Yeah. And um, as animals, we're very tuned into that relationship of inside outside on um, particularly when we're watching language and, and how we communicate uh -huh. and, and the sensuality of the mouth is all about that relationship. So this really heightens that, uh, that connection between inside and out. It's fabulous. It really is. Congratulations. Well, thank you. I thank love you. it. I look forward to seeing some more of the work that you have here and some more of your work. Yeah, we've got another piece uh, over here. Maybe we can take a look at Let's go take a look. So Mark, this is another lip sculpture. Yes. This is equally impressive and amazing. Tell us about this. I see that it's different finish, correct? Yeah, yeah. It, so this is the fourth casting from the Lips series. Okay. And it's called Mercurial Murmuration. And Ooh, can I say that? Mercurial Murmuration? Yes. Okay. So, um, and the idea behind that is this is a, a finish that utilizes silver nitrate, which is the same silver that, uh, that people make mirrors from. Oh. And it has this uh, mercury-like quality to it in the way that it has a mirror finish to it. And um, I liked the alliteration of the title, and yes. it also um, all of the all of the lips pieces have to do with the way that the different material and finish impact the way that the object communicates. So there are many things that mouths can do. They can be very sensual. They can. There have another piece called a cutting remark, which is all made from surgical scissors. Ooh. Um, so this piece is about how. Um, how things can change through the way that we communicate. Mercurial murmuration. I love it, it's fabulous. Can I touch it? Yes. It's great. Fantastic. So Mark, tell us about what's going on. I know you guys have a wonderful art walk that goes on every second Saturday and you've got some really exciting projects. What's going on? What, you know, we've got a number of things happening right now. It's a very busy month. Um, the uh, Temple Bethel show is coming up, and I'm going to have a few pieces featured in that. Right. And it'll be uh, towards the end of the month here. I think the first date is either 24th or 25th. And I've got some work uh, in the Florida Craft Art Gallery. They're doing a, a show on public art that talks about, uh, I think it's called Inside Public Art. And I've got some pieces featured in, in that show as well. Great. We've been, you know, the studio is super busy right now. We've got a, a big project uh, for a monument that's going down on the pier. 
It is for the, the first flight, um, Tony Janus, uh, uh -huh. first commercial aviation flight happened right here in St. Petersburg. So people don't know about that. The first actual commercial aviation flight ever was here. Right here in St. Petersburg. Amazing. It took off in St. Petersburg on the bay and it landed over in Tampa. And oh. uh, first passenger flight and it, he flew Mayor File from St. Pete to Tampa. Oh, and it how long started did that take? I, you know, I don't know how long they were in the air, but it's uh, I've, I've done a lot of research now on, on those early airplanes because we're doing a life-size version in stainless steel of the, in, of the Benoit. That's the airplane that they flew. And um, they didn't go very high. They stayed no. just above the water, but they uh -huh. flew uh, all the way across the bay and uh, it started commercial aviation. Fantastic. Well, that's quite the honor that you're doing that sculpture for the yeah, pier. It, it really is. Yes. You know, it, uh, it's a huge project for the studio to keep us busy for the next four months or so. Absolutely. So when is that going to be installed in the pier? It'll be this, uh, this spring. Great. Fantastic. Well, it's really been a pleasure talking to you, Mark. Congratulations on all the work that you're doing. It really is an inspiration. Well, thank you, Susan. The pleasure is mine. What an exciting day we've had here at MG Studios with Mark Aileen. Really incredible work and sculptures. I've thoroughly enjoyed it, especially the lip sculptures. Those were my absolute favorite. Stay tuned for the next episode of FBTV. Like us below, subscribe to our channel, check us out on familybeautiful.com, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll see you next time. It's Susan Short with FBTV.